The World Health Organization has declared an outbreak of Mpox a global health emergency, following a similar announcement by the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Here's what that means. The WHO also declared Mpox an emergency two years ago, when a form of the disease began to spread globally, largely among men who have sex with men. That outbreak was brought under control in part due to vaccines. However, Mpox, which spreads through close contact, has been a public health problem in parts of Africa for decades. Democratic Republic of Congo is experiencing its worst outbreak ever. 27,000 cases and more than 1,100 deaths since January 2023, largely among children. Two strains of the virus, which cause flu-like symptoms and pus-filled lesions, are now spreading in Congo, the endemic form and a new offshoot. And it's this new form of Mpox that has triggered global concern. That's because it seems to be spreading more quickly, and little is known about it. It moved from Congo to Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi and Kenya, and then outside Africa's borders. The WHO has issued a public health emergency of international concern, the highest form of alert. That's done when diseases are spreading in new or unusual ways. The aim is to galvanize international cooperation and funding. A coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives. Scientists hope efforts to get more medical tools and funding to Congo will be sped up to help tackle the outbreak and study the virus. However, in 2022, a WHO appeal for $34 million to fight Mpox got no take-up from donors. There was also huge inequity in who got access to vaccines. African countries did not receive the two shots used in the global outbreak, made by Bavarian Nordic and KM Biologics. Two years later, that remains the case, though the WHO has appealed for donations from countries with stockpiles. The Africa CDC has said it has a plan to secure vaccines without elaborating, but stocks are currently limited. Mpox is a significant health problem that is killing some of the most vulnerable people in the world, including children. But it is not COVID-19. So far, there is no evidence that it spreads easily through the air like COVID. There are also proven tools to stop the spread and treat those most at risk. The challenge now, which the emergency declarations have aimed to highlight, is to make sure those tools reach those who need them most in Congo and its neighboring countries.